Okay, so now that we have created the functionality to add records to a vector database, now we have to query the thing, okay? So now we're gonna go into our query index file and we're gonna start typing some stuff. All right, so first let's import everything and because it took so long last time, I'm just gonna copy paste everything. So we're importing our .n file just so we can have our environmental variables. Let's just do that real quick. And then I'm also going to import our pinecone vector store. I'm going to import OpenAI embeddings in our chat OpenAI so that we can actually call OpenAI. We're going to create a Langchain chain using our output parser, our prompt template, and our model. Okay. So now let's get everything in here. So first, let's create our index name equals. I'm just going to copy paste this. Doop. Like that. And then we are going to add in a prompt. We're going to pretend that we got this prompt from some front end facing UI. And we're going to say, tell me about the latest updates in childhood brain development. OK, so that's the prompt we're going to use. Now we have to create our embeddings model, which I'm just going to copy paste this because honestly it's going to be the same thing in a real application i would probably make this a singleton and put it in a separate file somewhere but this is a demo you can probably do that yourself now we're going to create our vector store and we're going to use pinecone vector store index name and we're going to pass in our embedding as, like this and if you have your Pinecone API in here, in here, all of this should just work. And same thing with your OpenAI API key. Now that we've created our vector store, let's query the thing. Now we're gonna do results, and we're gonna take our vector store, and we're gonna run something called a similarity search. And all this does is that it runs the query in through the vector store, and it brings back the results that are most semantically similar to what you pass through. So we're gonna pass in our prompt, and I would hope that it will return things that are related to childhood brain development. So we're gonna pass in a prompt, and we can decide how many chunks of information we want back. So I'm gonna say two, yeah, let's do two. And just to prove that this works, we're gonna do print result. All right, so now let's run our query index. And look what we get back. We get a list of documents. <clears throat> and each document contains page content, metadata, you know, fun stuff. So what we want in each of these is the page content. So like page content has like, for example, new brain scan tool reveals what are neural oscillations, neural oscillations particular, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so we see that this works. Now we want to extract the page content. So what we're going to do is context equals, I'm going to use a list comprehension here. Those are fun. Um, so I'm going to do for source in result. I'm going to extract the page content. So I'm going to do source dot page content. And we all want to join this as a string, so I'm going to run a dot join function on it, and I'm going to give it a space, so dot join. And then if I want to give it a space, it'll be like this. And just so I can prove that it works, I'm going to print the context. All right, and now let's see if it worked. And look at this, look at this beautiful information that we get back so nice and clean looking yeah all right so now now that we have our context ready to go let's actually run this through OpenAI and get a response back so let's create our so actually rather than watching me type everything out i'm gonna paste this in and i'm gonna just talk you through everything so in langchain you have to create a chain of different different functions right so the prompt template is where we're gonna pass in our context and our prompt. And then I'm creating the model right here, chat open AI. 
And if you have the OpenAI API key in your .n file, it should just work. And then the parser is just going to return us a string. Then we're going to chain everything together like so. So first, the prompt template's going to run, then the model, then the parser. OK. So let's get our response now. Response, if I can spell today, response equals chain dot invoke and we're going to pass in an object for our prompt template to use so we set up a variable for context and we're going to pass in our context and then of course we have to pass in our prompt as well as is mentioned here prompt is going to be like so and to prove that this works I'm going to print response so let's see what we get back okay so if you got a bug from the way, from following me that was because I set this as from templates when it should have been from messages my apologies for that but but I fixed it and I'm getting exactly what I expected one of the latest updates in child brain development involves the use of a new brain scan tool that has provided key insights and in how neural oscillations good stuff other than creating a specialized knowledge base filled with the latest research, you can use this method to create guidelines on how to interact with users if you're making a chatbot, and even help it understand policies so that it doesn't output information that conflicts with those policies. You can use this for really just about anything. I'm on a journey to learn LangChain and all of its nooks and crannies, so if you found this helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. That's how the YouTube algorithm knows that my content is worth promoting and spreading around. I release new videos every Wednesday, and I hope to see you at the next one.